Hey guys, so let me show you what I'm up to. Yeah, I redid my 80 liter slash 20 gallon or 21 gallons aquarium. Yeah, you might know that I had a second channel. I still do, but I don't post there anymore. Only with aquariums. Well, I kind of stopped posting because I gave up my aquariums. I could not handle them. I have a thing, I have a major flaw amongst the plethora of other flaws that I have, but the most major one of all, I've always done this, I tend to take on more responsibility than I can handle. I think I have all of the time in the world to do this and the other, and of course I don't. Of course, at some point I'm too busy or I have other more important stuff to do, and that's not cool. And I always seem to not take into account all of the duties that I have to do. So I decided to redo the thing because I cannot stay away. But I'm gonna be a little bit more realistic about it. First and foremost, no more 20 tanks with betas. I love betas, but I don't have the time. I would buy them all, but I just don't have the time to take care of them. Second, yes, I did redo my big aquarium because it's the biggest one. I can put more stuff in it. I love it. And I placed it next to the sink. You know what this means? Super easy maintenance. Just put the hose in the sink, put another hose to fill it up. There we go. Water changes on point. What I did was make it a little bit lower energy. Not very low though, because it will have CO2. It does have a nutritious substrate, but do we see? It is capped and look how pretty it is. And also, do we see where are the stem plants? There are only two. Other than that, there are no stem plants. So this means I don't have to trim it every single freaking week, which is cool. So I tried to only have the plants that will not necessarily demand me all that much. Also, uh, yeah, I run an internal filter. It doesn't look very nice, but hey, guess what? It is silent. And in this room where I film, I need silence. With my other aquariums, I always had to unplug all of the hang-ons and everything because they were not silent. I would love to use an external filter, but I don't want to ruin this cabinet. I don't want to drill holes and I do not have space in this room for an aquarium cabinet. Don't you worry, little ones, when I will have a new grow room, yes, you bet you I will have some really nice aquarium stands, adequate aquarium stands. Because really, okay, don't, don't mind the mess. This, this will not do, it does not look nice. <laughs> oh no, I showed you my mess. <laughs> I'm working on it. We're gonna have an orchid shelf there, but Ikea is out of stock. The Vistra is out of stock. Okay, one thing at a time. I have too many things in my mind. So I redid it. I did also film it and I will post it on my main channel. Here's another thing. I started my second channel with the intention of not mixing the aquariums with the orchids because that's it's actually not very good for YouTube. What's important is that I like what I do and I don't burn myself out because after nine years, trust me, the burnout is there. Sometimes it can happen. So I need to vary a little bit. And the thing is, I cannot post on two channels. The amount of work is a little too much for me. The shorts channel is very undemanding, but to have a fully fledged second channel, I just, again, I'm taking on more responsibility that I can handle. And yeah, it didn't work out. I cannot post three videos on my main and at least one on the other one. It just doesn't work out for me. So I always prioritize my main in detriment of the other channel. So if I move these to my main as well on a Wednesday when typically I post other type of content, it's a win-win. I get to do what I want. I don't burn myself out. Not as many people will watch. That's fine with me. I might actually bring in new people to the channel who are into aquariums and don't know about orchids. And some of them might stay and learn about orchids as well. Who knows? So yeah, I redid my aquarium. Hopefully it's going to be a little bit more low maintenance. It's missing a few things. It's missing CO2. My canisters are getting filled. I'm going to pick them up this week. I'm going to install them. And yeah, I have here some really amazing plants. Some of you might not be interested, but I have a rare plant in here. Oh my goodness, rare plants. This is rare. <laughs> this really is rare. This is a Cryptocoin Pink Flamingo. I have dreamed of owning this one for years, years, years. I found it. I hope it's gonna be okay. Also, look at that, marbled or variegated Anubius. That's again new for me. Very cool, it's an aeroid. Did you guys know that? 
Um, yeah, so I have some cool plants in here. So I hope you'll enjoy the content on the main channel as well because I do actually really, really like it. And I think it's gonna be more sustainable for me and you know, I'll keep up with it because I will have an incentive and also I think my workload will be a little bit smaller. The fish that will be in here eventually after it's cycled and it's balanced will be a surprise as well. Don't you worry, little mango is not going anywhere. Anyway, that's about it. This is what I have been up to. I just set it up today. I finished in one day. <laughs> that is amazing. And I'm not sure when I'm gonna post the full video on the main. At some point I will, but yeah, it's gonna take quite a bit of time before I add fish and animals and all of that. I need to properly cycle it. It's absolutely sterile. There's nothing from my older tank in here. I didn't wanna add anything because gosh, I don't wanna have snails in this tank. I just don't. I know some people love the snails. Some people don't love the snails. I kinda like the snails. Mango likes the snails. But oh boy, the mess they do. I'm sorry, they're gonna eat the algae, sure. But if I make sure not to have excessive algae, I don't need them loading my tank with poop everywhere. And the worst part is the poop stays on the leaves and it looks horrifying, horrifying. So no, I don't want a trace of snail in here. Alrighty, so let's end it here because this is not a short, right? But it is an update. <laughs> I hope you'll watch the entire video. There won't be many non-orchid videos or tank videos. It's not gonna be like a weekly thing necessarily, but from time to time, it's plants, it's water gardening. It was my first love before orchids, to be fully honest with you, but you know, you know how it is. You take breaks, you come back to the hobby again. Anyway, let's end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching and hearing me blab. I'm very excited about the tank. I'm very excited about the plants because some of these I've always wanted to have and I will be very excited to show you the fish that I'm going to put in here. Right, so with that said, I'll see you next time. Bye!